your thoughts about money? How did you see your parents handle money growing up? Mm. Open, yeah, you got to open the door because listen, what you don't want to do is say I do and think y'all about to ride off into the sunset and we can't even afford the carriage to get to the sunset. <laughs> So, so you got to slide that thing in there. Hey, so I was just, I know we're talking about marriage. Is there a wedding for the budget? I mean, is there a budget for the wedding? Mm -hmm. And then when they say, yeah, the budget for the wedding is this. Okay. So how do you typically budget? Mm -hmm. You need, but you have to get in there. You have to ask. Mm -hmm. Everybody's talking about what you bring to the table, but yeah, what yeah. kind of debt are you bringing to the table? <laughs> what, what, are, what are we talking about here? Do you have an Amex? <laughs> do you have like a, uh, what Russell Simmons card used to be? You remember back yeah. in the day? You got one of them. What? What are we doing? Uh, black card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh my God. Yeah, that's good because oh, finances is it's such a tough one. Um, but yeah. you got to have the conversation. You got to have the conversation. So let me ask you this before we move forward with finances: Could that be a deal breaker? Yes. When you're like your credit score is your credit score is 400. I, I can't do it. So I'm never going to tell you to drop somebody for their credit score because credit scores can be improved. Thank you, Jesus. Um, and you can work on that. And sometimes people just aren't educated about what it takes to navigate and maintain credit. And I think when we hear that your credit score is in the 400s, we just automatically assume you have a lot of debt and that you're delinquent. Mm -hmm. But you may just not know how to use your credit. You may not have anything in your name. And so your credit hasn't been developed. So before we leave you because you got a 400, can we pull the report? Like, are you open to that? Are you open to, can we go see a financial coach? Can we get some financial planning? So don't walk away immediately if it doesn't look how you want to look. But if they're not coachable and they're not willing to be open, I definitely think that's something to consider because this is America and money matters. Are we eating ramen or are we eating top ramen? Like what? You just need to know those things. Yeah. And nobody really told me that when we got married. And so I tell everybody, make sure y'all talk about money. Yeah. What are the thoughts on like what are our goals for the money? Are we just trying to live check to check? Are we trying to do like I don't know, Bitcoin and get generational wealth? Are we selling insurance on the side? Like what are we doing? What is the goal? What is the plan for this union financially? Mm, that's good. I like that. Yeah. Are we living check to check? Yeah. Well, what's up? Like what we doing? <laughs> Ooh, that's good. I, mm. do, do you know who Wall Street Trapper is? On Instagram? Yeah. I think I've seen some of those videos. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I remember I was listening to him, him on an interview one day and he said, if you're living check to check, he said, you're poor. He said, you're not yes. fast. You're poor. Yes. And I was like, man, that is so real. And I'm thinking how many people actually might think that they're middle class, but just mm -hmm. living check to check. Mm -hmm. no, so it's yeah, I think I think we think we're middle class based on our salary. Mm. But it's the, but if you make because some people really are making good what used to be good money. But I tell people like 100,000 is the new 50K. Like it's not what it was when we were all out here trying to hit six figures. It's not that anymore. It's the new 50 K. Mm -hmm. um, but I think sometimes we associate salary with class, mm -hmm. not taking into account that I might be making a hundred, but I owe 105. So I still don't have it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Wow. I, uh, we have, a. Uh question that was asked uh how do you i guess he's getting a little ahead of himself but he says how do you suggest discussing sexual history so i guess it just kind of depends on how nosy you are i'm not a person that needs a body count number i don't need that but i do need an std panel i need that <laughs> i need that like i don't know that I care how many people it was. I care, are you clean and can you commit to me? So I think it's about what do you care about? If you need a body count number, I'm going to challenge you to consider, can you handle the number? Because if she says, he or she says one, then you're like, oh, they inexperienced. They ain't, what they going to do with me? But if they say a thousand, then are you intimidated? So I would just be careful discussing sexual history. I'm more concerned about the STD panel. I want to know that you're clean. And then I also want to talk about preferences. What are you into? Because mm. am I into that? Mm, that's good. Yeah, because yeah. he said, he said, oh, wow. yeah, because he said such as gay threesomes or other wild stuff. 
because, preferences. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Because I heard someone talk about this the other day about um, being with the same sex. Like, if that was something that you dealt with in the past, mm -hmm. like you know, does that affect us now? Like, well, I don't, I, I don't, I don't do it anymore. It was just an experience, you know. Like, do you discuss that as well? You know, so I would want to know that. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, because I need to make a full decision. And I need to know if my partner has ever had a same sex encounter so that I know. Um, so the question originally was, how do you bring it up? I think as y'all are having conversations, I think you just say, so you want to talk about sex? Um, where you into? <laughs> Have you ever had a threesome? I, I personally love a direct approach. I think when we start beating around the bush and we start trying to soften things, it yes. gives the other person too much wiggle room. And I want to see your body language. I want to watch how your breathing pattern changes. Like, so I'm just going to ask like, oh, have you ever had a threesome? And then you're going to say yes or no. And then I get to ask follow up questions because was it two of the same sex and you like was who was who in there? You know what I mean? Um, and I just think when you're talking about marriage, all of that's on the table. Yeah. Cause I'm about to commit my entire life being community resources to you. And I need to know what's up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I really do love a direct approach. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. The direct. Yeah. The direct approach, because that way it's it just like, get in there. <laughs> yep, yeah. Like, no, this is what I asked. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. opposed to kind of, oh, was it like this kind of? You know, nah. I need to know. I need to know. That's and then I, I need to be specific because so like I'm heterosexual, mm -hmm. and so it's like so I would ask my husband like, have you ever been with another man? Like that would be the question. That's real. Do you have those thoughts? Mm -hmm. Um. Have you ever engaged in a threesome? If he were to say yes, I would say, so tell me what the sex of the people were. What was going on? Because what if it was two men and a woman? Like, I need to know that. I need to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because that's real. Because <laughs> give or take the situation, you know, that my, hey, I'm, I, I don't swing that way, but it was right. two guys and a woman. So it's, so it's like, do you? <laughs> real conversations real conversations yeah, yeah we, we starting off uh real uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah i be trying to get to it like what's what we doing let's talk about it no that's real that's real how do you feel about um i, I know we talked about blended families a little mm -hmm. bit but maybe how important is it to know someone's uh the 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 parent's child like do you feel like you physically need to meet this person I do. Okay. okay. I do. Only because...